Welcome to another Sir James D. Tech video. Today I will be doing a review for the Eureka 1880i 6 gigabit per second PCI Express RAID controller card. So in case you missed the unboxing, I'll just quickly go over the layout one more time for the Eureka 1880i. Here we have the battery backup module connector and once again the battery backup module is not included you have to purchase that separately. This is the Global Fault Activity LED, the Individual Activity HDD LED header, the Individual Fault LED header, here is the Ethernet port, the Manufacturer Purpose port, the I2C LCD connector, and underneath this 40 millimeter fan is the Radon chip 800 megahertz I.O. processor. And there at the end are the two internal SFF8087 SAS ports. Now this 6 gigabit per second SAS RAID controller card is PCI Express 2.8 however it will work with PCI Express 1, 4, 8, and 16 and is also backward compatible with PCI Express 1.0 the RAID levels it can perform with are 0, 1, 10, 3, 5, 6, 30, 50, 60, single disk, or JBOD, just a bunch of disks. There is greater than 2 terabyte capacity per disk drive support and can control up to 128 6 gigabit per second and 3 gigabit per second SAS and SATA hard drives and solid state drives. The onboard cache is 512 megabytes of onboard DDR2-800 SD RAM. Now remember that this does come with a low profile bracket as well. So you're not just stuck with what came with the card in the packaging. And also remember that in order to connect this RAID controller card to solid state drives, you're going to need one of these SAS to SATA adapter cables. And as you can see, each SAS port can connect to four SATA ports. Now, installation into Windows wasn't too difficult. This manual really is an absolute Bible for anything you want to know. I just followed it step by step and it worked like a charm. So as you can see I've got the Eureka 1880i hooked up to my four Vertex turbos which are in the Corsair 800D's hot swap bays. And what I'm going to do for benchmarks for this review is each benchmark I performed with the EVGA X58 Classifieds onboard RAID controller, which is ICH-10R in RAID 0 and also RAID 5. And then I did those same benches using the Eureka's onboard controller in RAID 0 and RAID 5. Now I will say that four Vertex turbos have gone beyond saturating the onboard ICH-10R RAID controller. Three of them gets darn near close to saturating it, but adding a fourth clearly shows you that unless you want that fourth solid state drive to basically go to waste in terms of performance, you really ought to take a good hard look at getting a dedicated RAID controller card. I hope you enjoy the performance results.
In terms of performance, those results clearly speak for themselves as to the performance advantage of having the Rika 1880i compared to onboard RAID. Now this manual is a true asset to have. I mean, just thumbing through this thing, I have learned more about RAID controlling over the past few days and given I didn't know a heck of a lot before now, but this is such an advantage to have all this in one place. The instructions are very clear, leading you through installations, setups, things like that. Now for a company to create a manual such as this, where it's so exhaustive, is a brilliant idea in my opinion, because rather than having me sit and talk with the tech rep or whoever when I have a question about installs, things like that, you know, for companies that don't have a very good manual, it's all here step by step. I mean, I was able to install this thing easily, and if you can read, you can figure it out. Now, because the Eureka 1880i has not been released retail yet, it does not have the driver and software disk, which will come with it, and therefore I can't give you a truly all-encompassing idea of all the things it can do. Well, for example, with the software coming out, supposedly there's going to be a web browser-based configuration in which you can modify, delete, create, RAID sets, volume sets, write back cache, I mean, anything you can think of that you can do in the BIOS, apparently you'll be able to do with the software. So I'm very much considering doing another video with the Eureka 1880i or whichever RAID controller card I have at the time when the software and driver discs come out in which I go over some of these other software features because like I said I haven't even scratched the surface of all the things this puppy can do. Now just a couple of minor quibbles I have. The Eureka 1880i does run very hot. If you're able to have a PCI slot cooler underneath it it would probably be a good idea to use that because otherwise this thing is going to steam up the rest of your case especially if you've got all air cooling and therefore I would suggest either the PCI slot cooler or try to get a 120 millimeter fan to blow on it because otherwise it's going to heat up the rest of your components pretty quick. The other thing is that fan that's over the IO processor it's not exactly the quietest fan in the world even though it's so small I can hear that thing running over all my slipstreams, so that gets a little bit annoying now and then too. Now again, this hasn't been released retail, and I haven't gotten an official word yet on pricing, though I've heard some rumblings of what the pricing might be, and so whether or not that price is worth it to you when it comes out, that'll be up to you. But to me, this is such an advantage to have in your system, if you can afford it. So along with the manual, the ease of installation, the compatibility, and the functionality and features, my final verdict is the Eureka 1880i 6 gigabit per second PCI Express RAID controller card is an absolutely amazing A product. Until next video, ladies and gentlemen, talk later.